Have you ever wondered why in Apex Legends for some reason when you walk up close to an item you guys actually see a brand new UI element on your screen which gives you information about this item as well as how you can pick the item up but then if you go ahead and you walk a little bit backwards you no longer see that item's information from that UI element. Basically what is going on that is called on begin overlap in unreal engine and it's on begin overlap and so what on begin overlap is and what on begin overlap end is is basically if i create this actor and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to double click on this actor and what i have to do is i'm going to go into the actor and i'm just going to be typing in box and i'm going to be getting a box collision and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go down and i'm going to click on this little component right here which is on begin overlap box and then i'm gonna go ahead and click on on begin overlap end and what i want to do in order to set this up so we can have this system working similar to how it would be able to work in apex legends is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drag off from here and i'm just gonna cast to my third person character and it's gonna be third bp third person character and then what i'm gonna do from here i'm gonna drag off object and i'm actually gonna connect this to my actor so for simplicity purposes what i'm gonna show you guys is i'm gonna drag off here and i'm gonna type in a print to string which I'm going to get print to string right here. And it's going to say hello. Well, we're going to change the access to changes. And we're going to type in enter. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to change the color right here. And I'm actually going to change this to red. And I'm going to put the duration for 20 seconds. And then what I'm going to do. I'm actually just going to copy this logic right here. And I'm going to go down. And I'm actually going to add this to my on begin overlap end. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. And then I'm just going to type in exit. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to change this color over here and we're going to sit there and we're going to change this to green right so now what's going to end up happening how the system works if i go ahead and i drag this into my scene this little box cutter right here and i'll make it a little bit larger if we go ahead and play the game right we play the game and if i walk into this box cutter you can see that it now says enter now if i walk out of it it says exit now that is basically what on collision begin overlap is if we want to go a little bit further and a little bit deeper how i'm going to show you guys how like the ui element works is basically what i'm going to do i'm just going to go down to user interface i'm just going to go to widget and over here i'm just going to type in ui and then what i'm going to do real quick is i'm just going to go into my ui i'm just going to get a canvas panel and i'm going to drag this canvas panel in now i'm just going to get text real quick to show you guys this is similar to how it works inside of apex legends right so over here we have this text blocks which i'm just going to sit there and increase the size i'm going to increase the size and just say hello oh, no, i'm going to start typing actually and say pick up right and then probably say pick up press x or actually i'm going to type in press x for pickup right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to have this ui right here and then what i'm going to actually do is how you would call this and how it would be similar to apex legends like i said i'm just going to center this to the center of my screen and i'm going to go ahead i'm going to make this text yellow real quick and just going to increase the font size a little bit so you guys can see so like i said similar to how it will work in apex legends is this is what they do they'll go ahead they'll have this ui element so i'm gonna just gonna go back and i'm actually gonna re remove this print from string and what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna drag off this and i'm gonna type in create widget now with a great widget is is it basically allows you to set up a user interface inside of a game so i'm just going to go ahead and get a reference to that user interface which my class is going to be ui and then from here i'm actually going to drag off this and i'm going to type add to a matter of fact not, i'm not even going to type add to screen you want to do this first in order to be able to remove the ui so i'm actually going to right click and i'm going to promote this to a variable and i'm just going to type in ref for the variable reference and then what i want to do is i'm actually going to then type in add to viewport which is then going to allow me to add the viewport now the reason why i actually wanted to make this variable reference right here is because when i exit the box collider i actually want to remove the ui and the way for me to do that is i'm going to drag in my reference and then i'm going to get it and then from there i'm actually going to drag off and i'm going to type in remove from parent which is going to allow me to remove the ui you need to like i said make that variable right there in order to sit there to be able to remove the ui from the parent so if i go ahead and i compile the game again and then i run it again now if i walk up here you guys will now see the ui shows up on the screen which says press x press for pickup which i mean it could be whatever button i just forgot to put x in there but it could be whatever button you want and if i go ahead and i walk out i'm no longer going to have that ui so it's similar to how the ui system works in apex legends it's just all set to on begin overlap on begin and if you are working in unity the what it will be called it'll be called void on trigger enter which you're basically doing the same process you just have to give a reference to your collision tag which is going to be like your player or whatever you want it to be and then you also are going to do the same thing which is going to be void on trigger 
exit which is going to be the same philosophy of saying going in and then walking out that's something that you want to do now i will definitely be making a unity 3d tutorial going over what i just said and showing you guys how to write the code inside of c sharp because i do have experience when it comes to coding in c sharp as well as unity 3d and i know a lot of people do work inside of that engine but if you guys found this video to be very informative and very useful and you want to see more essential tutorials like this on the channel when it comes to game development between unreal engine and unity 3d let me know down below in the comment section also if you guys have any specific tutorials let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed the video this guys like the video as well subscribe to the page while your notifications turned on so you guys don't miss the upload and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one